Now, Chief Meteorologist Chris Holcomb tracking this cold snap for us. Chris, what can folks watching do at home to prepare for this cooler weather? Well, if you haven't already, you know, bring in some potted plants if you don't want the, get them to get damaged by the colder air, or if you want to go out in the dark tonight to put some mulch around some of them, especially in these areas of far north Georgia and in west Georgia. I really think here in metro Atlanta, most of our plants should be fine. We're going to still, still be above freezing. I'm not worried about frost tonight because of the wind, so that's going to inhibit any frost development. So you can see Metro Atlanta not included in the freeze warning. It is for far north Georgia and over on the west side. These are the areas as we showed you a little while ago that could get to around freezing. And then on Wednesday morning, again, overnight Tuesday into early on Wednesday, more counties closer to the metro area could have some of those freezing temperatures. That's why there's a freeze watch in effect again for North Georgia, West Georgia and some North Metro, West Metro and Southwest Metro counties on those areas. Temperatures between 30 and 35 to 36 degrees. Will we break a record? Well, tomorrow morning's record is 32 and we're forecasting a high of 39. So no record there we will be close to records potentially Wednesday and Thursday. We're forecasting a low of 36 Wednesday. The records 35 forecasting a low of 36 Thursday, the record's 34. So that would be close to record breaking temperatures. Right now we're 58. Our high today was 77. So we're almost uh, 20 degrees cooler now than we were just this afternoon. And these temperatures continue to fall during the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, I do think we'll be in the upper 30s here. We'll have some lower 30s in North Georgia, maybe even some 20s there. And these are actual air temperatures, not the wind chills. We'll be at 46 at lunchtime. That is going to be really chilly at lunchtime. Time, then only getting up in the low to mid 50s tomorrow afternoon. And then we go on Wednesday morning, even colder down to 36 here in town and even more of those 20s on the north side. So this is a look at the wind chill. We're going to have those winds still whipping up and it's going to feel like it's around freezing tomorrow morning. Feeling like 29 in Gainesville, feeling like the lower 20s in Blairsville. And again, during the day, even at lunchtime, it's still going to feel like it's in the 30s. And then in the afternoon, feeling like the lower 50s. And then again, Wednesday morning, wind chills, feeling like it's around 30 here, around 26 in Carrollton, 29 in Peachtree City, 27 for wind chills on Wednesday morning up in the Gainesville area. So tomorrow, even though we have sunshine, nice dry air in place, these temperatures, 39 in the morning, 55 in the afternoon, more like mid January instead of mid October. That's why on our scale from one to 11, we're going to go with the seven on the wasometer. It is cold again on Wednesday. It'll be another cold start on Thursday down to 36, but in the afternoon we start warming a little more with the temperature up to 63 and then near 70 on Friday, staying dry Saturday and Sunday, warming them though a little bit more mid 70s, holding in the mid 70s Monday with partly cloudy skies, but no rain chances for this week as we have a cold pattern and it's also a dry pattern too.